Amid the backdrop of tension and uncertainty on the Korean peninsula, South Korea's military has been placing extra emphasis on being combat ready to face any threat from North Korea. Our Kim Hyun Bin reports on winter training exercises underway on the outskirts of Korea's Olympic town of Pyeongchang. It goes without saying that maintaining a staunch defense against possible North Korean provocations is one of the Park Geun-hye administration's key goals this year and the remaining years of her term thereafter. And the president has made it clear that strengthening national security is very high on her agenda. To ensure readiness, the defense ministry initiated a winter exercise last week in Pyeongchang-kun, Gangwon-do province, a place well known for its brutally cold winters, where temperatures regularly plunge below minus 20 degrees Celsius. Scores of Special Forces cadets are busy training, despite the bone-chillingly cold temperatures. It's a clear display of South Korea's military might and readiness to fight off any attack from the north. But it's just another day for South Korea's special forces. Whether it's blistering hot or numbingly cold, these men are ready to fight and successfully carry out their missions. To successfully conduct our missions in extreme conditions, we are enhancing our combat capabilities through realistic training. They showed off numerous maneuvers, with cadets skiing down slopes, sniping down potential enemies, while reaching their targets undetected. These types of training exercises are held throughout the nation periodically. They serve two purposes, ensuring complete military readiness to potential threats, and giving the public the peace of mind that the military can keep them safe from an unpredictable northern neighbor. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News, Pyeongchang.